And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stella Lignato semi-final number one. We got Beton against Modi, a uh, matchup that everybody's been looking forward to all day. We'll take you through the teams shortly, but the uh, first thing we got to say, Vic, is it's good to be back. It is good to be back, Joe. Summer is in full swing right now, and everybody knows that the unofficial official start of summer is the Stella Lignato Rainbow Foundation Basketball Tournament. And uh, that's where we are right now here today as Modi's dribbling the ball up on the left side. Modi, most famously a winner of three consecutive championships in one summer, the big three, Stella High Heat shootout. Uh, he's kind of a big deal. We got Modi driving to paint, kicks it out. Gwindy, one of the best shooters the community's ever seen, misses. Hey, Mari miss. The wind, it must have been the wind. Joe, That's, it has been very windy today. It has been windy, but Vic, we should say that this tournament frequents the DSN heatfront facility as Beton goes, tries to go off the glass rebound, Gindy. Um, but it's under construction, and the Assassins have uh, kindly, whoa, all shots are wayward today, but uh, the Assassins have kindly opened their house for the second year in a row. I believe there's also EC3 going on today EC3 at is uh, DSN. Going on today. That could DSN. be a reason. That could be a reason as Gindy kicks it out to Lipner. Lipner went to Shraga with Ricky D, a good friend of the broadcast, Ricky D. Uh, kicked out. Cannot see the corner. Vic Silverman. Vic, tell us about Vic Silverman's Band-Aid. Vic Silverman, right before we went on broadcast. Sammy Shama. Oh, right and, before uh, we went on broadcast, Vic gave us this Band-Aid over here. We're not sure what that means. Maybe he will he need it. Us. Maybe we will need it. Anywho. We got Gindy, JD's cousin from LA, is what we're hearing. Oh, he spins, and the walk is called by Anthony the ref. Notable absences today, you know, because last year, Vic, I missed Stella because I was at work. You were. Um, we had Dern, and Dern took over. But uh, after two years, it's good to be back. A notable absence today, Sammy the ref. Maybe he's doing EC3. We do love Sammy the ref. He's a good friend of the broadcast. Here's Mo D, guarded by Gindy, hands it off to Gwindy. Should we, should we specify Gwindy and Gindy? I Vic? think so. Otherwise, it's going to be way too confusing. This for guy the next to me is saying yes. He's a good guy. Oh, it's Gwindy's brother. Oh. Gwindy for three. You think he's nice going to hit it? No. Oh, no. He missed. So the oh, son over here. Hadje with the threes. We heard uh, on court Mike pick up Hadje with the threes. I have to sneeze. So hold it but in. Gindy's at the top of the key, and I can't sneeze before he shoots it. Now he dumps it off to Lipner. Steps back. Guarded tenaciously by Modi. Gindy's got it back, kicks it out into the corner. Lipner for three, short rebound, Beton off the glass, down it goes. First points of the semifinals here at the Stellaniato Rainbow Foundation Basketball Tournament. Tournament coordinator is David Saad, actually a, a, a subtle friend of the broadcast. Uh, two years ago, if you watch our tape, we were sitting next to David and Gurney. It was a good thing. We heard Gurney is out, not here today because he's married. Mabruk Gurney, if you're hearing this, Mabruk I'm sure Gurney, you're watching. Mabruk Gurney, Modi for three. After we said Hadje with the threes. Joe, it's uh, either points till 21 or time. I love that because you know you're not going to be stuck here for too long as Lipner misses the uh, layup. They're calling for Gwindy. Modi crosses up, spins, walks, no call. Razi from the top of the key and he's fouled. He will shoot three. Actually, it depends on the rules. Oh. We got on the floor. Arazi not happy with the call. Arazi, the subject of a, of a, oh, Ike sale. We got Ike sale. We got Ike sale in the house. The question is, Arazi, he was always rumored to be the subject of the first Sephardic Sports documentary, which has yet to be released. But Arazi's a good friend of the broadcast as well. Mo D, three-time champ. You can watch his 2017 High Heat Stella Lignato shootout highlights. Another former champ. Oh. We got Jonah is uh, we point them out in the gray shorts. He's playing with Beton for the second time. He actually won High Heat, won MVP of High Heat last year. He did, year. I remember that. A good friend of the broadcast. He's, we had him in the booth, very, very nice guy, but he's a former champ. Beton's a former champ. Arazi's a former champ. Got a lot of Gwindy's champs. a former champ. It's a, you could call this a star-studded matchup here in the semifinal. The uh, Lipner, Lipner, Lipner. He went to Shraga with Rick D and Ike Sale. We forgot to mention Ike Sale. Modi hit as he goes to the basket. Wow, how does Can't he get, get it, it up to like go. That. That's very nice. As down it goes, Vic Sill. 
Big Sills also got the help of Hashem. Uh -oh. Does he need, does the, he band -aid. need the band aid? Do we have a band aid if you need Vic. it, Vic. He looks like Vic he doesn't need the band aid. Vic, you need the band aid? I think he's good, Joe. I think he's zoned in. He doesn't really hear us. Joe, the sun is not doing well for the camera. Oh, Gorgian, that's his last name. I got it. Ah, I remember. Right? Couldn't is that spell the guy? it. I think he got a lot of he gained muscle. He looks like he's ripped now. I don't remember things, Joe. I don't remember how he looked last year. Last year, now it looks like he might be able to drive into the lane. Joe, you say just as if it's an easy thing. I know I can't even play in a non-top 50 Vic league. Vic Sill, very important to hit your free throws. You'll hear it on every broadcast. Sammy Shama, former champion, good, good friend of the broadcast. Mabruk to uh, his brother. Mabruk to his brother Elliot on his engagement. To a Joyce. lot of Mabruks we got to get to, Vic. Oh, it was a busy year, a busy Joe, couple of years. Joe, even busy couple of weeks. And busy couple of weeks. Today we had two proposals. Today we had two proposals. We had uh, the towel party, which I just came from, which is great. Gwindy dishes it down low, and a walk is called. Good call by Anthony, the ref. Um, not to be confused with Sammy, the ref who we imagine is by EC3, also a great tournament. Hope his hip's doing well. That was last year? Oh, Did yeah, hip yeah, surgery? hip surgery. We texted him F to see how Sam. he was doing. As Lipner kicks it across to Gindy, Beton. That's Beton's bread and butter, but he can't get it to go. Gwindy with the rebound. We're sitting next to Gwindy's brother. Gwindy's 0 for 3 from the field, but we, we can expect open. to pick it up. Arazi! Uh-oh! Arazi will tie this game up at three. We're doing ones and twos or twos and threes, Vic? It looks like twos and threes. Looks like ones and twos. All right. Twos and threes? I guess it's, well, Anywho, it out. Gindy, left hand. Gindy, they brought in the Los Angeles product, the Eula product. As he kicks it out to Lipner. Lipner with the left. They like to use the left. Oh, nice athletic play by the tenacious defender, Sammy Shama. As Gindy puts it up and in for a 5-3 lead. 5-3, 13-30 left on the clock. Modi bringing it up. Modi's a force to be reckoned with, as everybody knows. 5-3, white. That's Beton. Joe, did I mention the sun? Did I mention Modi's fresh cut? Wow, Vic, no, what do you, you think did. about the hairdo? I'm a big fan. I'm a big Arazi's fan of it. Arazi's got it. And you know, Arazi, last summer, you'll nice notice shot. as Modi knocks down the triple for the lead, 6-5. Uh, you'll notice if you watch our broadcast from last summer, a notable absence was Elliot Arazi. Um, right. Was that last summer? On this very ago? court, he suffered a freak injury. Um, Joe, that I want to say that was two summers ago. I think it was last summer. That kept him sidelined for the summer as the travel is called. It'll go the other way. We see some Silvermans in the background. Sam, a uh, member of my grade, great guy. I got to say, I'm a huge fan of families coming to watch I do. Their, I, their siblings. I am forced to agree. There's, there's siblings, there's parents, uncles and aunts. And I've I seen like grandparents. I see some people here for that played in the EC3 tournament come yeah, to support the other clubs. I like that. I think that's really nice. Anyway, Arazi suffered a uh, freak injury as Gwindy will go with the floater, adding it to the repertoire as we're getting a call from Elliot Dweck. Uh, Arazi's got uh, five points today, four points after a triple and a free throw. He's looking really good as Gindy finds Lipner down in the high block. Dribbles out, steps back, puts it up, air ball. Lifner has yet to find his touch today. Modi all the way down. Sammy Shama off the glass, 10-5. As Gorgian brings the ball up the floor. You know, we, Vic, as many champs as we have on the floor, I think we got more friends of the broadcast, thank God. As Gindy spins, bobbles, goes up off the glass, no good. Rebound, Lipner, who's turning it on now. Gorgian gets it down low to Beton. If I remember correctly, last year at High Heat, Jonah and Beton had never known each other, never played with each other, or were they cousins? One or the other, either way. Lipner kicks it out. Beton pulls up. It's it's interesting that it's off Gindy. It'll stay white ball. You gotta be careful in those bushes, there's thorns, as we but learned from past tournaments. if needed, Vic, we have a Band-Aid. He's gotta make sure that he knows, that he remembers. Anyhow, the sun's beating down. Vic, can you give us some insight on why we chose the sunny side and not the shady side? So it looked a little busy over there. We might switch for next game. Um, is the sun affecting the quality of the shots? I, I would say it would be a little better from the other side, but you also can't tell the score. I, I like facing this. Okay, okay. There's there's pros and cons to each side. Lipner will pull up from three. That's a big one. That's a big one. 10-8 is the score. It looks like we got... Is that Steven Bate on the other side? That is yes. Steven Bate, a friend of the broadcast. Good man. David Saad's got it. Anyway, Modi driving right, pulls up from the free throw line, passes it down low, gets it to go. All right. 
12, eight is the score. Wind is definitely calmed down, no breezes, just sun beating on I could use a little us. bit of wind. I could use a Vic, bit of wind. how about that weather yesterday? Oh, oh my God, God. all over the place. Two feet without spitzing up the storm. Then, then anyway, the storm. Gindy in your living room loses the ball into your living room. But it's off Gin Windy. Windy and Gindy going at it. We got kicked out Beton. We got ID. Alan Gindy gets it out to Beton. Drives in, gets it down low, spinning, and ooh, fouled is Lipner. Ellie Lipner, the Shraga product. Uh, attended. Wait, where the race coming? Vic, you know, it's always a question if you want to use your homegrown talent for your team in, in a tournament or if you want to import talent. Lipner seems like an imported product. But someone who I think was a great investment. I mean, he made it this far. Hey, he's in a semifinal. You don't get to the semifinal to play Modi. Down four, looking to make it a three-point game, and he gets it to go. One for two from the charity stripe. Very important to hit your free throws, as I already said once, and I'm sure I will say many times before the end of the night. Solly Spiegel's in attendance. Let me just get, let you know who's here. We got Solly Spiegel. We got Ralph Miz. We got... Uh, A.B. Silver's taking pictures. A.B. Silver's he said he would love pictures. to be in the booth. I remember him telling me yesterday that he was going to be taking pictures. Arazi loses it. We got Beton here. Kicks it out to Gorgian. Gets it down to Gindy, who thinks about it. Steps back. Gets it to Lipner. Drives. Gets it back to Gindy, who's been chill with it a little bit. Gets it to Beton. Looks... Swings, Vic Silverman, the triple, no good. Vic's gone ice cold since he gave us the Band-Aid. He could use a little bit of help with the Band-Aid. 12-9, 8-30 left on the clock. Modi's got it, multiple time champion in one season. Oh, that is just so pretty. That is just so pretty and the crowd appreciates. 14-9 is the score, white down five. Much needed Modi cloud. leads Beton 14-9. Ray Braha in the crowd. We gotta give a shout out to Ray. Ray always, he's always our point man on the ground as Victor Silverman shows his worth. Mo D hushos. Mo D's running. Dunk it, Mo. Gets it to Sammy Shamo. Goes on the right side off the glass. Gets it to go. Sammy Shamo is one of the most underrated, he best is. players, best guy. You know, we can't say a bad thing about Sammy Shamo. He watches every broadcast. And, uh, you know, as big fans of Sammy Shamo as we are, Sammy the ref is a bigger fan as. Oh, Lipner! Gets it to go and the foul. And I'm looking on the right side of the court, Vic. I see some Arazis. I see some Silvermans. I see some Sassins. I wonder if Jack Sassins still in. Anyway, Anthony, the ref, ready to give it down to Lipner. It's a big, it's a big free throw, Gwindy, right? It's a big free throw. Gwindy obviously rooting for him to miss, as he does. He duly obliges. Modi's got it, five points away from victory. 7.20 left on the clock. Modi crosses over half court. We got a pick set, Arazi going around. Swings it out to Gwindy for three. Looks like he bobbled it on the follow through. It looks like he's figuring out what's going wrong with the shot so far this game and he'll have it uh, adjusted in due time as Gindy goes to the hole, off the glass, gets it to go. Very impressive shot, eliciting a bunch of wows from the crowd and our MC David Saad, a tournament director. Mo D, I feel like I'm getting burned. I should have put sunscreen on, Vic. You gotta, you gotta apply and reapply. It's all about the reapply. Yeah. The apply people remember. Mo D goes right, pulls up. His air time is unbelievable. He stayed in the air for what? I don't think I could be in the air one eighth of that amount of time. Anyway, Gwindy thinks about it, gets it to Arazi, who's already hit one three, and he's called for the walk. It's a three-point game with 6.21 left on the clock. Gindy, you see his USC shorts and his Jordan leggings. It's a little hot for leggings. It is. And, but Gwindy and Gindy both wearing leggings. And sends it down there to Beton who's guarded tenaciously, gets it down to Lipner, who goes off the glass, no good. It seems to me that that's Lipner's bread and butter. And we got a double dribble, it looks like. The ref that's not Anthony calls it that. We gotta get his name. But could you tell us a little bit about the drama that was going on on the volleyball court before? I, I heard there was some the some heck was going, going on, but there was one call that both teams were not happy with. As Gindy drives to the hole, gets it to Vic Sill, kicks it out to Lipner. Lipner crossing, going back to Vic Sill, who's fouled. If he Arazi, needs a not even, oh, it looked like that ball was going to go in the hoop. 
Vic Sill gets the call. Arazi is very, very upset with the call. But Vic, from my vantage point, it did look like a foul. Is that a, that's a tech? It's a tech. Interesting. You don't see a lot of techs in tournaments. I, it was he was upset with the call, Vic, and you can't blame him because it's an intense tournament. It is. It's very. And he smacked the ball to the floor and it went up to Shamai. We got 16-14. Vic Sill is known for his free throw shooting ability as he knocks Gorgeous. down both, and we Gorgeous. got a one point game with Vic Sill getting the ball back. <coughs> Oh, he's going to get the tech and the free throws. As well. I think so. It's three shots. Oh, this is the technical. As, Go As Gorgian knocks down the first free throw. We need, we stop the clock. Tournament director David Sott, who looks a little bit like Rabbi Ike Towel. <laughs> That's a good call. Is, uh, he does, right? Gwindy likes the call. We got here Gwindy. What's your first name? Stephen Gwindy, brother of Mark Gwindy, Jack Gwindy. He's uh he's comes from basketball royalty. How's your game? You played today? You played today? He didn't play today, but he's a good guy. He's been he's been sitting here supporting us. Yeah. Since we started, Stephen Gwindy. Not gonna be confused with Stephen Gindy, Victor Gindy's brother. What's that guy been up to? Haven't seen him in a while. No, but he's a great guy. Mo D thinks about it. We got a tie game, 16-16. Just like that, Vic. You blink and it's tied. Gwindy looking to make something happen. He doesn't have any points on the semifinal. This is the first semifinal of the 2019 Stalinato Rainbow Foundation Basketball Tournament. Mo D knows exactly what he's doing. Kicks it out. Thanks for the correction. Mark Gwindy does have a layup. A follow-up. The crowd wanted a walk. They're not going to get it. Gwindy goes around the back. Pulls up. Ooh. Uncomfortable shot. As Lipner kicks it down here to Gindy, who goes to the hoop. Vic Silverman kicks it out to Jonah. Back out to Beton. Beton's the champion. Gindy for three. No, sir. The three balls have not been falling. I think the only one to hit a three so far is Elliot Arazi. Modi pushing as he does. On the left hand, the switch is on. He's got Lipner. That's who he wants. Will he blow by him? Forcing him right. Notice how he's a righty, but you force him right, Vic. Because you practice so much with the left right. that it becomes the dominant hand. Lipner forcing him right. He's going to get the help from Beton if he passes him, and he does. Oh, beautifully done by Modi, but can't get the layup to go, and the rebound. He's fouled. Wow. Good effort. Ooh. Down in a low block by Ballas. Vic, I don't think we had Ballas on a broadcast before. The shot clock Name started. doesn't sound familiar. Got to tell you. Tournament director. <coughs> Gwindy trying to set the pick. Shot clock is what? 30? 25 seconds. Shot 25. clock starts with three minutes left in the game as Modi goes to the rack. Goes off the glass, can't get the foul call. Gwindy's got it. Subtly sneaking into the paint, but backs off. Lipner's all over him. Gwindy trying to create space. He's got some of the best handles we've seen. Kicks it out to Modi. Gorgian shows the double team, doesn't follow through with it. Lipner calling for help. Forcing him left now. It's the communicate, Vic, it's the communication. Modi for three. They're going to give him that. They're going to give him that. They'd rather him shoot the three ball. We got 16-16 tie game here. First semifinal, Stellaniano Rainbow Foundation 2019 basketball tournament. It is 2.17 on the clock as Gindy goes to the hole. Impressive job getting it up at all. Beton gets hit in the face. Green's not happy with the call, but it looked like it was a good one. And that is the fourth team foul. They'll take it out from the side. Beton's got it. The Lipner back to Beton thinks about it. Kicks it out. Oh, they're not paying attention. There's a usual question. The usual Shyla in the tournaments is their backcourt. It's different in each tournament. Every guy gets a different perspective on the situation. In this tournament, the tournament director David Saad says there's no backcourt. All right. So it'll be like white start. <coughs> And you know, it's one of those things, Vic, that you, when it happens to you, you don't want there to be backcourt, but when it happens to the other team, you really do want there to be backcourt. Happens to me often, Joe. Here's Alan Gindy, guarded by Mo D. Gets it down to Beton, the volleyball pass out to Lipner for the triple, no good. Lipner, over from the arc today. Oh, Mo D loses it, gets it tipped away by Beton, back to Gindy, kicks it out. Oh, Sammy Shamma! Oh, he's just too good. Sammy Sham on the defensive end, bailing his team out for some careless play. Look at him hustling, moving without the ball, coming to set a pick. 
He's got Vic Silverman on Mo D. This is what Mo D wants. He's on the right hand. Gets Gwindy to come around. Gwindy from Jim Range. That's where he made his all his money. Mark Gwindy for three and the lead. And we got a little fist pump here from his brother Steven. Oh, Alan Gindy going to the hole. And he gets called for the walk. They wanted the foul. They got the walk, and it's a two-point game for the team with the ball. And we and just as things were going silent for the Mo D team, Mark Windy from four feet behind the arc knocks it down for a 19-16 lead. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Now 20, 53 seconds left. Mo D up three. Sammy Shaman doing his thing, moving without the ball. Pick set by Ballas. Mo D's got it. A bucket will win the game. Here's Mo D, thinks about it. Six seconds on the shot clock, Mo D. Dishes, Beton's got it, gets it to Lipner, who's guarded by Arazi off the glass and in. One point game, 19-18. 33 seconds left, Mark Windy telling them to hold it. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Three second differential, game clock and shot clock. 26 seconds left in the game. Mo D's got it, is he gonna go for the bucket or is he gonna let it go down? Are they gonna foul? So many questions. I would foul here, Vic, I gotta say. 10 seconds on the shot clock, they're gonna let it expire. Why don't they foul? There is the foul. 10 seconds left in the game. There was only three second game clock, shot clock differential. They decided to foul and reset, it resets the shot clock. They need to foul. I don't know why they didn't do it earlier. And the next foul will be one and one. Can you win on the line? Huge mistake, says tournament director David Saad, and we said it here on the broadcast, Vic. We did Big say that, mistake. Joe. They should have fouled earlier. Anyway, the next foul will be a one and one Oh, that barbecue smell. It's like, yeah, oh. you smell it. You do smell it. Modi calls timeout to avoid the five-second. See, timeouts are something I never really understood in tournaments. It sounds... I don't want to say sketch, but they never really announce how many timeouts, how long the timeouts are. I hear it. Ten seconds left in this game. 19-18, Mo D leads Beton. A bucket from Mo D wins this game. A three from Beton will shock the world and win the game and send his team to the finals. Uh, who do we got in the next semifinal? We uh, got Rosso, I heard. Did see Big Aaron, I believe. Big Aaron. Aaron of the large variety. Yes. Good, good, good friend of the broadcast. White needs a steal, a missed free throw. Can you win on the line? That's the question. And just like the backcourt hecky, we're not sure each tournament has it differently. In high heat, you famously cannot win on the line unless it's happened three or four times already. Um, Joe, we got kids. Uh, do you see that? What do we in got? The, uh, in the trees? In the trees, climbing a... That, you know, Vic, that's here. a good view of the home team basket. Modi's got it, five seconds. Sammy Sham has got it, gives it off to Modi, who's fouled. With nine seconds left, only one second falls off the clock. It'll be a one and one for Modi. And the sun is usually back usually a knockdown free throw shooter, and he is the guy that the green team wants on the line with the game in hand. <coughs> Joe, it feels good to be back in the booth. Vic, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you, it's summer is in full swing. We got the heat. We got Stella Lignato. First Sunday, first real Sunday of the uh, year. First one's He's always, are you moving, did you not? Throws. He's gonna knock one down. There's the first. 20 to 18 is the score. It is a point game here. If Mo D hits this free throw here with nine seconds left in the game, that will be the ball game. And anybody who knows Mo D knows he's got ice in his veins. Mo D, one of the most stone cold shooters this community has seen. If he knocks down this shot, it's a game. And there it is. Pure. Mo D, never a doubt, really, if you think about it, Vic. 21 18 final score. What a game. Very intense. Uh, and, you know, we'll see you for the second semifinal shortly.